Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to try to get this entire front wall framed in. It's lucky these work pants have knee pads built into them because it's not a whole lot of headroom up here. Okay. I have a center line on here already and it appears to be perfect. So all I gotta do is pound a nail right next to that and then drop my plumb bob down to here. And yeah, it looks like the front is nice and flush as well. Take my square, draw my line, and then from that line, I can measure over to here I'm going to have to notch this so that it goes into this opening here and then about two inches of it actually inch and three quarters will go on the front there you'll see what I mean in just a minute let's get that plumb line real quick before we get any wind out here the wind it's blowing in the opposite direction but when it blows hard enough it swirls into the opening here like right now it was dead calm when I started all right I have to wait for it to calm down Take all the measurements off of there and go cut our sole plate. All right, I need three dimensions 17 and 5 eighths. And then I need to go to this cleat, and that is 49 and seven eighths and then all the way back to that filler and that is 57 but we're gonna go at eighth inch high of that so 56 and seven eighths okay i got all my dimensions i'm gonna go cut this real quick i'm not gonna bring the camera otherwise i'll be bringing the camera back and forth all day and i really don't have time for that so i'll get back with you when i have these two cut and we'll get that fastened into place then we can take some dimensions for the other stuff oh actually i have a few other things to cut as well and i'll be assembling that up here Okay, I'll get back with you in just a minute. All right, I got all my lumber cut and got over here. And as soon as I got over here, the neighbor went by. So I've been just doing stuff and waiting for her to come back. And she just came back. I got everything marked out and I got one of the cripples in place. This actually goes like this in the opening. And there's another cripple here. And then a couple king studs, which I can screw in place right now as well. And then the rest of it 
needs another notch on the bottom, but I want to have this stuff in place, screwed in place, before I do that notching. I also have my sill and my header for the window, and I'll get those in. Then I have two more cripples that have to be cut for the top, and again, I'm going to wait until I have this other stuff in place. All right, let's get the rest of these three cut and installed. Then we'll get this sill plate in and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm going to go and get a couple more clamps and I'm going to clamp it nice and flush at the center joint and put two clamps on either side. So, all right, I need four more clamps and then once I get it as straight as I want it, I should probably bring my long straight edge as well. Once I get it as straight as I want it, I'll throw a couple screws through here and then I have some big spacks. I'll put those in here as well. And then I'll screw it down into the floor and through the outside into the meat here. And once I'm done with that, had the township there. Okay, once I'm done with that, I will put the sill in. That's the sill right there, and then I have a header and a couple cripples up there, like I said before. And I gotta notch these. These get notched inch and a half. I can do that right away. Yeah, I think I'll bring these with me when I go get the clamps and get these notched right away. Then I'll have a couple more studs that are going to be a little different and some side pieces and stuff. I might not be able to get this done today. It's already getting late. I think it's uh, close to two o'clock already. All right, let me get going on this. Yeah, this is getting exhausting running back and forth, but we'll make some progress now. All right. All right. I got this front edge really nice and straight. And it's lucky I did that because this was not flush on the outside. It was off by about a sixteenth and now it's dead flush. So like I said, I'm just going to throw a couple screws in here to fix it in place. Then we'll fix it from the outside and then throw them lags in there. I don't know. I, yeah, I probably should get the sill in there right away as well. All right, let's get going on this. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be as close as possible. Beautiful. That's not going anywhere. All right, should throw a screw from the outside right away. And then I'll work my way down. using these number 10 by three and three quarter to go into the floor. Yeah, 
and those are actually going through the floor into the top plate. So, it's gonna be strong as hell. And what this is doing is it's pulling it tight down to the floor and then tight down to this lower cord. All right, one more screw. Get the other side. cut. Now they fit really nice except up at the top this wants to go like right here the outside edge so it's gonna lap over this gusset by about a half inch. I was gonna chisel just chisel part of the gusset out but it's glued and it's stapled and it would take me, shit, it would probably take a half hour just to chisel this out. So what I think I'm going to do is just cut that out of here. This is not structural. Well, for the most part, it's not structural. All this is doing is holding the siding on. It's not holding the building up. I got these cut as well. They're still in there loose. But that's about how that's going to go. It still gets a piece on this angled part and another stud here, but I got to wait for that angled part for that. And it gets pieces up in there to nail the new T111 to. Yeah, there's actually quite a bit more to do on this. And walking all the way over there to get any cuts done is really a pain in the butt, but I'm going to have to do it. All right, so I think what I'll do is just get this right on its mark and then hold a level to it, and then I'll be able to trace what I need to remove. Yeah, and then I'll just go do that on the table saw. Yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, this is definitely going to go into two days, which kind of sucks, but... Tomorrow, it's going to be a touch warmer than today, but no sun. So, at least I have a decent day to do it. All right, let me get this marked. Well, I might as well mark both of them while I'm at it. I actually, I got to take the dogs for a walk too. So, I'll do that first, then mark these and cut them. I want to at least be able to get these in today. This is going to be a good deal of work. Yeah, I got to get a piece on an angle in there and then figure out this stud, which is going to be just like this. 
on the bottom and then it's going to be angled at the top. Not too bad though. Got the opening in so far. I was on the ladder there on my way to go cut these studs and I saw the oscillating tool there and thought well that'll do it and it sure did. It took probably two minutes to cut that one and three minutes to cut this one. So all ready to go. That goes just like that and that goes about like that but we'll put it in there nice and level. All right so this one's in already and I'll get this one in and then I'll go take the dogs for a walk and with any luck I'll be able to cut these two side pieces and start getting those in. All right on the way back from walking the dogs I have four more parts to cut. Two of these and two of these these are the angled studs that go up against the truss right there. They go on both sides. And once those are in, these are the last studs. And I need to have them angles in before I can figure out the top angle on this. So once those are in, I'll cut this notch so I can kind of hold it in place. And then I'll be able to see where my angle is going to hit and get that cut as well. I can also use a plumb bob, but it'll be easier to just hold them in place. So I'll bring this with me, get that cut, and with any luck, I'll be able to get that stuff in today. That pretty much finishes the stuff that I'll be doing from in here. I have to do some shimming and stuff on the outside, and then I can put up the T111. I decided not to put on the poly iso. I think it's just going to be way more than a hassle than it's worth. So I cut these studs so that they hang out a quarter inch. That'll keep the T111 a quarter inch further out from the building and it'll overhang the lower stuff by a quarter inch. That should be plenty for a drip edge. All right, I'm going to go get this cut and I will see you in a minute. All right, let me show you this real quick. I already have these marked, but show you what I'm doing. All I'm doing is lining this up by eye with my marks down there and then I'm holding the level up against it getting a dead plumb and then marking the back side and then after I did that put this on there and marked it an inch and a half away. This is where I'm going to make my cut. The reason that I'm marking it an inch and a half away is because those pieces are going to go on here and it'll be an inch and a half away. But if I put those on first, I won't be able to mark it because I'll be much further away from my lines. All right. I just got to go along here and make sure that nothing's hanging out. It doesn't look like any. Yeah, there's a little bit down there. I'll trim that off and then get one of these on. These right here are representative of how far this has to hang out. So I'll screw this here and I got another one somewhere over there. Screw that one down here and my board will be flush with that on the inside then it'll match this perfect all right let me show you this real quick i'll do it on the other side as well what i'm doing is screwing these cleats to the top cord right here and then i just hold my board in place and put this on there to keep them even and then screw this in. Now I can take these off and move them over to the other side and get that other one in, wherever that is. Oh, there it is over there. Yeah, this is gonna work out real good. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself again. I got my cleats screwed to the wall and then dead center right through that stud is one inch in, so I have two starter screws right at one inch and what I do is screw them all the way through the board 
and then back them out until they're just inside the board. So as soon as I start screwing, they're going into the wood. Now, I can put this in like that and hold it flush and drive that screw. flush this up with my hand. That's all it really needs. And hold it tight. screws. This broke. Holy cow. Let's see if I can get it to work for this one last screw. Well, it'll work, but eventually it's going to fall out. Okay, now I gotta run over and cut these. That is, what is it, 66 and a half degrees. And my complimentary angle is 23 and a half degrees. So I gotta cut a board at 23 and a half degrees and then put this up against it into the miter saw and cut it on edge like that. And hopefully these fit the first time. I am getting exhausted running back and forth over there. And I need to wrap this up for the day. Hopefully we'll get these two in and the two cripples in. That's it for the main framing. Then tomorrow I have a bunch of cleating and some shims to put on the outside. And it'll be done. Then I can put the T111 on there. Alright, let's go get these cut. Okay, so here's what happened. I got these cut and brought them out here and put them in the opening and they were a bit too long, well a lot too long. And then I was thinking, well, when I measured these, I had them down on the floor like this and they needed to go up on here. So I took another inch and a half off of them, but now look at them, well when it's flush, this one is... Well, what does it say? Seven eighths too short and the other one's an inch too short. And I really don't know where that came from, but I'm going to have to fix these tomorrow. Well, I can't fix them. I'll have to cut new ones and I'll use this as a template and cut it to the right length. Hopefully. So I'm not going to be able to finish this today. I did get the cripples in. I thought that might go bad, but it didn't. Yeah, for some reason that looked wrong, but it's not. Okay, so tomorrow I have to cut these two studs and a bunch of shims and fillers and stuff. I have to have drywall fillers going across here, a drywall backer going along there, and a few other things. Oh, and something to represent the knee wall at the end, something to screw into. Yeah, I think I have another full day on this framing, but that's not that big of a deal. Like I said, it's going to be a little warmer tomorrow, but no sun. But I think it's going to be less wind, so that's a bonus there. 
All right. Yeah, I wish I could have got this finished, but what time is it? It's 5.09. Generally, I like to finish by 4. That way I can get the video produced by the end of the day. At 5 o'clock like it is now, I don't know if I'll be able to do it unless I stay up real late. Okay. All right, that's going to wrap it up. So, if you want to see these studs cut right, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.